Hey everyone, this is Munir here from Gutenberg Hub and in this video we'll explore the new feature of WordPress which is in development right now and that is full site editing and global styling feature. So both these features combined uh, are shaping really a new WordPress in my opinion and I'll tell you why because this uh, when this full site editing and global styles feature lands in the WordPress you'll be able to create your whole website visually using Gutenberg and Gutenberg will not just be a post editor or a content editor or page builder it will become a, actually a full site builder or you can compare it basically to you, the current theme builders which are available in different page builders right now so let's dive in and I'll tell you give it a try so first thing first uh, let's get into the dashboard of your WordPress and to test drive this basically you have to use it on a test installation do not install this on your live website because it is already experimental so first thing you need is a uh, a theme that is compatible and that is built specifically for full site editing and let me tell you what uh, WordPress uh, is bringing a new kind of theme system altogether the, these themes are called block based themes and and they are basically very minimal lightweight and less with less PHP code and this is all new theme uh, and it won't have any customizer options or widgets or short codes or any fancy header or footer builder because all this can be done and will be done with Gutenberg itself so I'll just suggest you to uh, search for a theme called Q from the WordPress theme repo and install and activate it so this is a currently experimental theme as the description says so again just install it on a fresh uh, sandbox website for testing purpose so once you install this you also need to install Gutenberg plugin N not, uh, not Gutenberg plugin is basically a different which is a plugin itself and while WordPress have had this uh, merged into core into WordPress itself but all the latest developments are uh, merged first or included first into this plugin so just search for the Gutenberg plugin and make sure this is installed and activated once you do that uh, both the theme and the plugin installation you'll see this new option called site editor and this is also clearly saying that it is beta so again everything is beta and whatever we are exploring in this video would might change in the future in the coming days but let's dive in uh, it's uh, once you get in it's kind of all similar with the Gutenberg editor the normal editor that you get um, when you edit a page or post but except you see the header here which is actually the editable header theme part so you can see this uh, if I click outside I'll show you that from the navigation uh, block navigation you can see there is a header and there is a uh, there is a query block which is uh, which serves as the content part and then we have a footer here so all this uh, is for the in and by the way here you can notice that we are on the index template so basically what theme builder or the site builder is doing is allowing you to uh, visually create or edit your different kind of theme parts like index is served as the main base template for the WordPress right uh, so and then you have different kind of parts like th header content area and footer and similarly you have other parts as well so by the way you click on this and it opens up a menu which says theme so these are the templates and theme but there are two categories right now two sections right now here so and on the templates you can see we are on the index page and if i hover over it it shows the live preview and then I can have all single post template and so this is a little bit uh, technical not uh, exactly you just need to understand that what kind of template parts plays what role on your website so you would be able to understand that I will create a more detailed tutorial videos for this maybe later let me know if you need that 
so and you can create your own template as well so as you can see there are different type of templates that you can create front page home page single page which serves for uh, single post or single pages and singular which serves which again serves for all kind of singular pages like post page etc different kind of archive pages you can create search result and you can also create 404 not found template so i'll just go back and then these were the templates and then you can create different kinds of theme uh, template parts you can uh, consider it as similar to reusable blocks which are placed on uh, in your template part basically in your theme parts before uh, this you the only way with the code wordpress was to do this by coding but now you can visually create your header footer and uh, different kind of template parts uh, visually so this is uh, how the theme builder is coming you will be able to create your uh, theme or overall site design visually without going into code and you can actually use any kind of block in it i'll uh, quickly show you uh, by changing the this header to the left header uh, left logo and i'll take the menu to the right so let's try this so i'm in the header part when i click on this as you can see the block navigation sorry uh, as you can see the block navigation also changes and it shows me that i'm on the header and if i click on the query nothing happens here and if i click on the footer so it shows me so this changes whenever you are in a particular template part let's also open the sidebar window so what we need to do is simply uh, i will add a column here right so i'll take this one okay now i will bring this this is by the way the site title these are special blocks which are in development along with the full site editing to support you to create these dynamic layouts like site title uh, will serve as the title that you have set in the, your wordpress admin area right and you can uh, ultimately edit it to whatever you for example i just uh, make it the logo gutenberg and i will also uh, uh, change the font size to normal maybe right so this is fine now i drag this block to my left column like this bingo and i'll drag the menu navigation block by the way uh, one thing i'll show you is with this new full site editing feature i'll just show you by the way uh, this is like I'm saying this is shaping a new WordPress and you can see that there are no uh, theme customizer no menu page uh, listed in the appearance section and no widget area so all three of these admin pages are gone and ultimately all these other pages must be uh, work around with the single admin interface here so you we must be able to do everything from here in the Gutenberg interface rather than going into different kind of admin areas like customizer uh, menu and uh, widget area so at least these uh, three are gone now uh, at least in this experimental and I, I presume this will be the strategy going forward we will not have uh, the customizer because there is no need for that and we won't have widget area and menu builder as well because menu can be created now using this new nav navigation block which is in development and i will create a different uh, video explaining how this works but for now let's just uh, move it here and make the ali it align to the right so now let's update or design and it will by the way i'm i'm adding it changing it from one uh, area of the template part index template but it will, should be applied on everywhere so if i refresh this now bingo we are done we are we have just adjusted our our header to a need and this is just a rough example and you get the point you can add any block basically here like any any of the available blog which are uh, available for the site editor you can edit, edit uh, in in there so let's for example i just i don't know just add a button 
um, I'll test and move it. Okay, so close this and maybe okay, one second, move it up and okay, so pretty bad example, but I okay, the button is here. And if I go to single page, like hello world, the header is the same. So you get it. You can add any uh, block as you can see in, and create your custom header visually. And this is really fast, intuitive. And unlike other site builders or web uh, team builders, this is truly unflexible to do, to let you do anything you want. I really like the way it is progressing up. This is all very experimental right now, so of course this is not the final version. So similarly, you can have footer and you can have multiple template parts. So this is this all about the template part. Another thing I want to show you with is in development along with the uh, with the, this full side editing and which actually uh, kind of important uh, as this is the thing which says global styles. Now this feature will actually replacing the customizer the theme customizer the new theme which are in development or which are in uh, in 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 the experimental phase called block based themes like the one i'm using here will not have uh, the theme customizer the old or current theme customizer that you are used to that comes with all the themes that that will be not useful for the new themes so it will be gone or it will be called legacy and all those themes that uses that will use this that will be called legacy themes maybe and these new themes will be called block based themes so as you can see by we can adjust currently there are only two things but obviously more uh, stuff will be added here by the code and also would be extendable by any other plugin so we have two uh, two tabs here global and by block type so uh, the global as the name suggests will uh, allow us to change the typography etc like if I change the typography it applies uh, globally on all the blog items and all the blogs alternatively okay let's uh, make it default and I can adjust the font size etc as well obviously and I can change the color like you can see here right and but I can also go by by block for example if I want to change it this is this this should be the h2 as you can see so if I change the h2 styling and I'm on the global panel by the way I'm not on the block panel so if I change the font size to small as you can see now wherever this h2 will be uh, added or available it will pick this small uh, size by default for example let's try to add a h2 block just to make sure it works perfect so i'll take a headline block and as you can see it is the same size the same is small but a small size obviously you can go to the block setting it says it's it currently picks the default size which is linked to the global site size reset but we can further customize this uh, particular instance to whatever we want and this size applies to this current block not all the blocks so so global styling is really great and it's going to be useful to create your websites uh, in a more consistent way you you just need to apply the global typography and color scheme once and it will all your website will be adapted to that global styling and this uh, this will replace customizer the theme customizer so and and this full site editor in my opinion will replace the your page builder and overall this is really going amazing and i really like the way uh, this was just a quick intro and i quickly show you one more thing that there are additional blocks which are in development which are related to your full site editing or theme builder you can see like the site logo what this does as the name suggests it will allow you to uh, add a site logo this is a site tagline site title template parts query is a really uh, great blog i'll do another video on this which allows you to uh, create a 
post or any kind of post uh, dynamic post or content grid or list and you can uh, then customize the inner items as well so post title post content post author post comment post comments post comment count post comment form post it all these blocks you are seeing here are uh, currently in development along with full site editing and will be available when this lands in the wordpress uh, you can play around with all this now today this is uh, all usable but highly experimental and make sure you only uh, play around with it in test website as i said um, i will create more uh, detailed step by step tutorials as we proceed as this as the development proceed with this area if you have anything you want me to create video on uh, related to this or any gutenberg stuff just leave a comment and i'll follow up with that hope uh, you find it useful uh, make sure to subscribe and follow the group on facebook uh, see you in the next video thank you bye bye